in the last presentation we completed the half subtractor now in this one we'll try to find out the logical expression for the full subtractor on the right hand side of the screen you can see a white box which is our full subtractor and we don't know what is inside this box and this is something we have to find out in this presentation now there are three inputs to this full subtractor that you can see a b and c and two outputs d and b o where d is your difference okay and b o is your output borrow okay now in this three inputs a is the number in which you want to subtract the number b and c c is your borrow from next stage okay c is the borrow from your next stage now the prime goal of this presentation is to find out the combination of the gates which makes your full subtractor so as we are having the three inputs we are having the eight possible combinations that i have already written here on the left hand side of the screen now we will try to perform the subtraction in within these three inputs and uh, try to get the difference and the borrow output and uh, the concept that we are going to use for the subtraction is very similar half subtractor so 0 minus 0 is your 0 okay 0 minus 0 gives you 0 and again 0 minus 0 gives you 0 so there is no borrow involved and also the difference is 0 so 0 and 0 similarly 0 minus 0 gives you 0 and 0 minus 1 you want to subtract 1 from 0 so you are definitely going to require the borrow so the borrow will be 1 and now as it took this 0 took borrow so it will become 2 instead of 0 and 2 minus 1 gives you the difference equal to 1 fine now again 0 minus 1 the same concept will be here 0 minus 1 the 0 is going to require the borrow so borrow is 1 and as it took borrow it will become 2 so 2 it will become 2 so 2 minus 1 gives you what 1 so difference is 1 in this case now again 0 minus 1 so 0 minus 1 is what it is 1 okay that we saw in these two cases and uh, 1 minus 1 is what 0 and as this 0 took the borrow the borrow will be 1 it's very simple to do 1 minus 0 is 1 and 1 minus 0 is what 1 so 1 is the difference and you can see that there is no borrow involved so the borrow will be 0 1 minus 0 is again 1 and 1 minus 1 is what 0 and there is no borrow so difference is 0 as well as the borrow is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 0 is 0 so again both the difference and borrow is 0 1 minus 1 is 0 and 0 minus 1 again a borrow will be involved to make this 0 2 so borrow is here and 2 minus 1 is 1 so this is what we are having after doing this abstraction which was a real quick one hoping that you know how to subtract the two binary numbers if you don't know then go to the playlist and see the lecture in which we discuss the binary subtraction so the difference is 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 1 whereas the borrow is 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 now we are going to minimize this function d and b o by using the Carnot map so as you already know in the corner map we are having the cells equal to the number of what number of possible combinations so let's make the eight cell k map we also call it a three variable k map and we are having the inputs a b c where a is the msb c is the lsb so a will be here b c is here 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 we are going to require the same k map to solve for b o so i'm going to copy it and uh, paste it so that we will use the same k map 8 cell k map for b output it will save our time a bit so this k map is for the difference 
now let's fill this k map 0 1 1 0 so this is 0 1 1 0 then we are having 1 0 0 1 so 1 0 0 1 again we are having a interesting filling in this k map which is each and every one is single we cannot make the group of these ones you can see that and whenever this type of case appear in your k map we call it a checkboard configuration and uh, whenever you are having a checkboard configuration the difference is directly written as the XOR combination of the inputs which means that D is equal to A XOR B XOR C it is very very important thing this is very important you have to remember this in your papers so this is what we discovered the checkboard configuration and uh, this configuration appeared in our full adder and also this configuration appeared in our parity generator okay and uh, in parity generator lecture I proved that these combinations of single ones is going to give you a x or b x or c so we are not going to do it again if you are having any doubt regarding this go to the parity generator lecture and find it out now it's time to make the k map or you can say that the fill the k map for your output borrow and it is 0 1 1 1 so we are having 0 1 1 1 and 0 0 0 1 so 0 0 0 1 so let's make the grouping in this the first group I will make is of these two ones the next one is for these two ones and the last one is this one and this one so the borrow output is what for this first group we are having BC BC for this group we are having a complement and uh, B is changing from 0 to 1 so it is 1 and C is 1 so A complement C similarly for this group we are having A complement and uh, C is changing from 1 to 0 so it will be 1 and B is 1 so B so this is what we are having as the borrow output and uh, 